Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can determine a, a one sample Will Cox and signed rank test using Python 3 in Jupyter Lab to be precise. And the one sample Will Cox and test uh, can be used if you have an ordinal data and you would like to know if uh, there's a significant difference from an hypothesized median. Um, another test that could actually be used is the uh, sign test for this, uh, but I think it's the one sample uh, Will Coxon test that actually is done more often than this one. Um, to show you how this goes, I'll uh, do that by using an example. Uh, the example I will store as a pandas data frame, so I'll be needing pandas. Uh, if you've never used pandas before, you should install it using pip install pandas. Uh, do a quick Google search and it shouldn't be too hard to find. Uh, to get the data itself, read CSV, and I'll store that in my data frame. I get a small warning because it's a huge file, but no concern for this video and this example. Um, the field I'm going to be using as an example is the accounting is scientific, and I'm going to be dropping the missing values immediately from there. Just to have a quick look what's in there, my field unique, so these were all uh, ratings on a particular skill. There is a logical order here, but they seem to be in uh, the wrong order. Very scientific, pretty scientific, not too scientific. Oh, it seems okay, actually. Um, but I prefer to have these as numbers, so I'm going to use a coding for that. Uh, this is actually a dictionary, and I'm going to use the replace, and that will actually replace any of these in that field with a number. And then we can simply use uh, from Skippy or SciPy, I'm not sure how to pronounce it actually. Uh, again, if you never use that, you might have to do an installation of it first. And I'm going to be using the Will Coxon uh, module from that. And then to test, uh, I need a hypothesized median. I usually pick myself the middle of all this. So in this case, I have 1 to 4. So exactly in the middle would be between 2 and 3. So let's do that. That's my hypothesized median. And then I can perform the test. Uh, it will return the rank and the p-value. Uh, the field uh, minus the hypothesized median. You can choose different zero methods and as correction, false. That's the basic version in my opinion. So this uh, actually indicates that at the significance, the p-value is extremely low because it's um, scientific notation, so the minus means that there are plenty of zeros before actually this zero point and then 33 zeros I think it's, it is, but it's way below the 0 0.05 which is usually the threshold, so in this case we would reject the null hypothesis and say that the median is uh, different from the hypothesized median. Um, the zero method is about how to deal with ties. There are a few different ways. There's the Pratt, the Wilcox, and the Z split. Uh, the correction, that's a uh, parameter here, is set to false, is about if you want to apply a continuity correction. The first number here is actually the sum of the ranks that were positive. So what it does is, to some extent, it ranks all the data and then calculates uh, the ranks that were higher and lower. Uh, if you want to read more about that, check out my website. Um, and uh, the last uh, value is that p-value. And for the reporting, we would actually also need often the z-value because um, Python, or at least SciPy, is not doing the exact test. It's actually doing the uh, normal approximation of it. Um, uh, which is okay, and they give a small warning, I think, even uh, on their uh, help page, where uh, it mentioned that you should have at least 20 data points. Um, but to actually get um, the Z value, we can do some reverse engineering. We need the NOR module for that from the sci-fi stats. And then we can actually reverse the p-value divided by 2, because we're doing a two-sided test. And that will actually give me now the z-value that corresponded to that p-value. Um, 
I personally like to automate things, so um, like I said, I usually pick as a hypothesized median the, the exact middle. So that's the same as the average of my category, so I need the mean function for that. And then I can actually have here a Wilcoxon um, uh, one sample uh, function. I'll put the description, uh, or I'll put this Jupyter Notebook in the description, so if you want to copy it, uh, then please be kind and give me some credits for it. Um, if you have suggestions on how to improve it, let me know, and then I can test it out, and indeed I now get everything that I will need. Uh, it also returns the hypothesized median used, and just to have another example here, um, same thing here, and that's basically it. Alright, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I'll put the citation of this one in the Jupyter Notebook. I noticed I didn't put the reference in. Uh, if you have any comments or suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching.